What if a black hole is just a rebounding star in slow motion? This is the idea behind a Planck star first proposed by Carlo Rovelli and Francesca Vidotta in 2014, and it's super neat. We all know that what holds a star up against its own gravity is outward pressure caused by the light that it emits. Similarly, a neutron star is held up by neutron degeneracy pressure. Basically, it takes energy to make neutrons overlap, and so if neutrons do overlap, the total kinetic energy has to go up, thereby applying an outward pressure that fights against gravity. The idea that Rovelli and Vidota put forward is that one might have an outward pressure from spacetime itself if the density gets high enough. This notion stems from loop quantum gravity. In that setting, the Big Bang singularity seems to be resolved because there's a sort of Heisenberg uncertainty principle for spacetime. This leads to the conclusion that the Big Bang is really just the aftermath of a big bounce that never actually reached zero size. It just got to some minimum size and then rebounded. What these authors proposed is that a similar bounce might happen at the core of a black hole. So their picture is essentially this. A massive star at the end of its life starts to collapse until it crosses its own event horizon. In the interior, it continues to rapidly collapse until its density reaches the same magnitude as the Planck density, which is about 10 to the 93 grams per cubic centimeter. Then, just like in a supernova, it bounces back as a result of the quantum nature of spacetime. That bounce back then disrupts the star, resulting in an explosion. Now, you might be saying, obviously that's not true. We don't see black holes exploding. But that's because the bounce back only happens quickly from the perspective of the star. From the perspective of an outside observer, the whole process is slowed down immensely due to time dilation. And the bigger the black hole, the slower the process. In fact, they did some back-of-the-envelope calculations to show that even the lightest and oldest primordial black holes would only just now be starting to finish their rebound from our perspective. This picture also neatly resolves the black hole information paradox. Some of the information is carried away by Hawking radiation, and the rest is carried away by the final explosion. No firewall necessary, because the matter that falls into the black hole is not forever inaccessible. So is this actually true? Well, if those old and small black holes do exist, which we don't know yet, then we would expect to be seeing those exploding black holes. But we don't. And that means that either primordial black holes don't exist, or that they're larger than we think they are, or that Planck stars aren't real. Only better theory and better observation will tell us which might be correct. But if such a signal ever is detected, that might be the first evidence of genuine quantum gravity.